It's a new day. This is CBS 12 News This Morning. The International Jewish Film Festival is on its way again to Boca Raton. We're heading back out to the Boca Bagel Bar where its founders, who you see there, they're going to tell us the exciting things to watch for this season. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to CBS 12 News this morning. We are live here in downtown Boca Raton, and we are talking about everything that is going on in this community. There's a very special event happening in just over a week. We are talking about the inaugural Boca International Jewish Film Festival, and we are so lucky to be joined this morning by the founders, Wendy Honig and Les Rich. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, Wendy, I want to start with you. This is a huge three-week event. What can people expect from this film festival? The most fantastic films, 70 fabulous films, 30 from Israel, and um, Les, I'll defer yeah, to you. We, you know, we're going to be, it's really the largest and the, really the best in, in Southeast Florida, uh, the, probably the second largest in the entire country, and uh, it's really going to be exciting. You know, I know both of you have worked in the film festival industry for decades. You've worked together. Talk to me a little bit about the importance of this project and why you wanted to bring it to Boca. We want the festival, It's first of all, it's a 501c3. It's an all-volunteer film festival. And the exciting thing is, is that we have films that will entertain and educate and bring the Jewish community together. You know, we talked a little bit about this off-air, that this event has been in the works for quite some time since before the conflict broke out in the Middle East. But because of what is happening overseas, some of these films are taking on a whole new meaning. Yes. Um, we have one film that I'd like to bring to your attention, Kisu Fim, and it is it stars uh, Swell Ariel Orr, who is the um, Luna Luna Armosa from the Netflix series uh, Beauty Queen of Jerusalem. She's 24 years old, and this is her second uh, her second film, and uh, it is incredible because it happened in Kisufim, which is on the border of the Gaza Strip, and uh, it. It is about the relationship between the kibbutz on the uh, Gaza Strip and the people of Gaza. It takes place in the 70s and uh, after the Yom Kippur War. And uh, it's very relevant to what's happening today and uh, the terrorists. And um, it's really a fantastic film, so I hope that uh, everybody will come to that. Yeah, truly really an incredible experience to see these films. I know the film festival starts on February 25th, uh, but Les, there is an event happening this Saturday. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so this Saturday we have a film called The Trials of Alan Dershowitz, and Alan is himself will be there, uh, and it tells all, all about all the different trials that he, he went through you know, with Mike Tyson and O.J. Simpson, and it was, it's really an exciting film. This is the second time in the whole country that they chose us to show the film. Wow, that is fantastic. It sounds like it is going to be a wonderful event. Again, it kicks off on February 25th. Wendy, Les, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you so thank much, you. Sam. All right, stick with us. We are out here in Boca Raton all morning. We're going to be out here until 10 a.m. But for now, Matt and Kara, I want to send it back to you in the studio.